These are the dispense instructions for brewers with a brew keg 50, our combined conical fermenter and keg. This product allows a brewer to ferment, carbonate, clarify and dispense a brew all in the one vessel. 24 to 36 hours after the second clarification, a beer will be ready for dispense. For Williams Warren Cider, the beverage will be ready 12 hours after the cooling is put on and there is no need to add clarification agent as it will clear itself once cold. The sediment bottle will be quite full, but you should see a clear demarcation line between the sediment and the beverage above it. If the sediment bottle is completely full and the sediment extends up through the valve, then you can drain some through the bleed valve into a cup. The next step is to close the butterfly valve. Then place a jug right under the sediment bottle and start to remove it. As pressure releases, you will get some beverage overflowing into the jug below. Then carefully remove the sediment bottle and take it to a sink with running water and dump all the yeast and rinse it well. Take some water through the bleed valve as well and when you've rinsed it well, put the sediment bottle away ready for the next brew. Then rinse the butterfly valve with some water from the rinse bottle. If you are a commercial business and you want to take a sample or you are a home brewer and you want to pour a beer, connect the plastic beer line to the out port on the top of the lid of the brew keg. The beverage should be cold, clear, perfectly carbonated and professional quality. A commercial business with draft beer taps can now take the brew keg off its stand and connect it to the draft beer system. During the clarification stage for a commercial premises, the brew keg will likely have been attached to the CO2 system rather than to an individual gas bottle. So all you need to do now is connect the beer side to the draft beer taps. The draft beer line will need to be connected to the output on the lid of the brew keg with a black quick disconnect fitting in the same way that the gas side is connected to the input on the lid through the grey quick disconnect fitting. So for a commercial premises, a typical chiller might have some brew kegs on tap, some in the clarification stage and still on their stand, and others being stored. Beer brewed in a brew keg can also be transferred to a D-type or Sankey keg. The same grey and black quick disconnect fittings in the chiller can be attached to the D-type or Sankey keg coupler if a couple of special adapters are added. We'll now show how to transfer to a D-type or Sankey keg. Take a clean D-type keg and attach the D-type coupler with the special quick disconnect fittings attached. Add back pressure to the keg by connecting your CO2 source to the side fitting on the decoupler for about 10 seconds. Then reconnect the CO2 to the in port on the lid of the brew keg. Release the coupler as shown here. Then connect a beer transfer line that has black fittings at both ends to the beer out port on the lid of the brew keg but the gas port on the coupler. Then connect the variable pressure relief valve to the top port on the coupler and put the keg upside down on a stand. Put a jug under the variable pressure relief valve and connect the coupler as shown here. Then open the variable pressure relief valve a few turns so that you can hear gas being emitted. Beer should flow out of the brew keg and into the keg. The release of CO2 out the variable pressure relief valve should be quite audible and this will indicate that beverage is flowing. Monitor the level in the brew keg through the viewing ports with a torch and be ready for the beverage to flow out the VPRV. When it does it means that the keg is full so disconnect the coupler, disconnect the beverage line from the lid of the brew keg and the coupler and then put the keg right way up. Then remove the coupler and disconnect the VPRV. Then place the keg on a stand and take it to your chiller. The D-type keg is now ready for dispense. So when ready, reattach the coupler and connect your gas system to the gas side port and the draft beer line to the top beer port. To rinse a beer transfer line, Connect it to the beer port on a coupler, engage the coupler and depress the pin at the other end and drain all the beer out of the line. Then while still depressing the pin, 
rinse water from the coupler or through the line and then drain it as shown here. Every few transfers this line will need to be cleaned with hot detergent. Likewise a VPRV will need a rinse so remove the valve, give the valve a rinse underwater, then depress the pin and give the line a rinse underwater and then put the valve back in place. You can also bottle a carbonated brew out of a brew keg using our counter pressure bottle filler and you can see how to do that in this instructional video here at this Vimeo website. Go to the bit where it explains how to bottle out of a corny keg and follow the instructions in the same way because the ports on the top of a corny keg are the same as the ports on the top of a brew keg.